Hey Cisco support communities, it's Joe Clark again. Lately I've been seeing a lot of questions on the forum related to MIBs, to SNMP MIBs. And fortunately we've got a lot of great tools out there to help you answer these questions. Go to www.cisco.com slash go slash MIBs. There you're going to see two tools. The first is the SNMP object navigator and the second is the MIB locator. The SNMP Object Navigator will allow you to translate SNMP object identifiers to MIB object names and vice versa. For example, if you're getting an SNMP trap from a device and all you see are the OIDs in your trap log, you can take those OID variable bindings, plug them into the SNMP Object Navigator, and not only will you get back the MIB object names, you also get back a description explaining what those object values mean. The other tool is the MIB locator. With this tool, you can find out what MIBs are supported in a given release of iOS. We even have some support for some non-iOS platforms as well. So if you've got a, a device out there and you want to get a baseline, figure out what MIBs are supported in that, uh, in that version, just plug in that image name and you'll get back that complete list of MIBs. This goes all the way down to the feature set as well. If you want to find out what iOS versions support a given MIB, you can take that MIB name, plug it into the MIB locator, and get back a list of iOS versions that support that MIB. But if you're running a newer version of iOS, it may not yet be supported by the MIB locator. Not to worry. Just send email to mii at external.cisco.com with a subject of help. This is an automated tool that will send you an email back explaining how to use it, but basically it's going to give you the latest iOS support in terms of MIBs. You give it an image, it's going to give you back a list of uh, supported MIBs. We even have an external tool, one that I maintain right here out of my house, at www.marcuscom.com slash snmptrans. And just like the SNMP Object Navigator, this tool is going to allow you to translate OIDs to MIB object names and vice versa. But this tool has a bulk translation facility where you can give it a file with a list of OIDs and it will give you back the MIB object names for all of those OIDs. If you have any questions on these tools or any questions about SNMP in general, feel free to ask right here at CSC in our Network Infrastructure Network Management Forum. One of our experts will get right back with you. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.